Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode four of my Marvel Crisis Protocol How to Paint series. For this series, we're going to be painting up Black Widow. Uh, I've gone ahead and done a Zenith Prime on her, and I, I started on her face already, but I'm going to go ahead and do her face again. For that, I'm coming in with Vallejo Game Color Tan. And just going to, uh, she only, she doesn't even really need another layer here, but I'm going to go ahead and put another layer on her face just to show what I'm doing. And that'll actually get her face all squared away since that's kind of a, a really easy wick area to paint. She doesn't have a very big, uh, she doesn't have a lot of skin showing so it's really easy to get paint on that and get that all squared away. And there we go, we've already got her face painted up. Okay, so now that we have her face all painted up, I'm gonna go ahead and try to paint her eyeballs. And for that I'm using Vallejo Model Color Ivory. And I'm just gonna try and get as little of her eye as I can. Well, there's too much of her eye. That's all right. Got a little, this paint is a little too watery. And so we tried to get some of that off of the brush. I hate painting eyes so much. But something I'm trying to do and get better at. Still gonna try and get this eye here. So I'm going to continue to work on this and I'm going to show you what it looks like after I'm done. We're going to do some, some cleaning up of her eyes. So I will uh, finish this and be right back. So that's what I've done. Hopefully you can see what I've done with her eyes. I painted her eyes and then I cleaned up the surrounding area, went back with that Vallejo model or Vallejo game color tan to clean up the skin. And now I'm going to try and do an eyeball with the Pro Acryl Black and I'm just going to kind of do my best to get this black in the center of each eye and just put a a dot in there it's uh it's definitely not the easiest but hopefully wow I actually don't think it looks too bad. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera or not, but I'm not uh, I'm not ashamed of how it looks, actually. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start moving to the next piece here. So I'm going to get my colors ready, and I'll be right back. So now that her eyeballs are all painted up, I'm going to go ahead and start painting her suit. And for that, I'm going to bring in coal black and Vallejo model color dark sea blue. I'm going to do a three to three, three to two ratio, three parts black, two parts dark sea blue. And I'm just going to paint the entire suit. Get this all painted up. Um, I'm not worried about where it goes for right now. Because uh, we're going to come over and we're going to paint over her belt and her uh, her gauntlets and, and all the straps in her gun with some yellow here in a minute. So I'm just going to paint 
her entire suit with this mix here. And uh, after I get that finished, I'll be right back. So there's her suit all painted up. Uh, as you can tell, it looks like it's already got some pre-shading with that, that dark sea blue in there, which is kind of what we want. Now I'm going to come in and do her hair, and I'm going to do uh, one part of the Pro Acryl Black to two parts of the Pro Acryl Burnt Red. And we're just going to start with the base color here to get her hair going. And this is a really easy and quick step. You just want to paint her hair. Just make sure you avoid any areas that you've already painted, especially her skin. Uh, you can obviously fix any mistakes that have been made, but you know, it's easier to fix no mistakes if you don't make any. Um, so just come in, get her hair all base coated, and then we'll go ahead and just move to the next step. Now that the base on her hair is done, I'm actually going to come in and try and wet blend a little bit with just the burnt red, and I'm going to hit the the highest parts of her hair, um, the parts that would be subject to light the most, and I'm going to try to see if I can uh, wet blend this into it. Oops, that's way, way too much. But this will make the top of her head uh, pop just a little bit more because we're going to have you know, obviously more light hitting that top of it. Okay. And so just kind of come in and move your paint around let them those colors mix together so it looks more natural and you don't have a stark breakup of where the hair is And so I'm going to let this dry, and then we're going to move to uh, some of her belt buckles and such. So we'll be right back. So there's what her hair looks like with some highlights. It's The blending is a little tough to see right now, but we're going to obviously uh, highlight that a little bit more as time goes by. So now I'm going to paint uh, her belt here, and then obviously these gauntlets. And what I've done is done a 50-50 mix of Vallejo model color English uniform and Vallejo model color yellow ochre. And I want to start with this base color, uh, which is a little brown um, and yellow, which will help later when we're coming to highlight just the yellow. And so I'm just going to come in here and get this painted up. And this might take a few more layers than normal. Um, yellow's a, a tough color. That's why I have it mixed with that, that brown. So it goes on a little smoother. But it's still not a super easy color to paint. Uh, so you want to just take your time and... Put on as many layers as you feel that you need in order to get good coverage on her gauntlets and her belt. So I'll finish this up and then we'll move to the next step. So the next step we're going to do is paint just the gun. Uh, really, really simple step here. We're just going to go with the uh, whatever black you like to go with. Again, I'm going to go with my... Uh, the Pro Crow colors. I really like those colors. And I know we've got black. It should already be, you know, black, but we're just going to come over here with just this plain black and just get 
the grip. Just make sure you get black. And you can just kind of see a little bit of where you need to get in here. So get that painted up and then we'll go ahead and move to uh, painting some straps and her holster. So there's her belt and her gauntlets all painted up. And now what I want to do is I want to add some just a tiny bit of color and not really even color but just shading. And so what I did is I did uh, a 50-50 mix of Pro Acryl Black and Vallejo Game Color Cold Gray. And I want to paint the holster that she has on her uh, her right leg. So I'm going to paint that. And then I also want to paint these two straps here. And I want to get them this cold gray color. And again, the reason that I went with this kind of this gray instead of doing the holster in black or, or, or even brown is I want to keep her very uh, it's weird, I want to keep her hidden, but you've got these bright yellow accents on her. But I, I definitely want to have some color on this character. And so while keeping her dark, I'm still going to put a little bit of gray just to change some of the shading and just to make her stand out just a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this and then we are done with our base colors. So I'll paint this up and be right back. Now that we have the base colors done, I'm going to come in and do some highlighting. The first thing I'm going to do is come back and do her, her face. So I'm going to start with the Vallejo Game Color uh, Tan and I added in just a little bit of the Vallejo model color beige red and about a 50-50 mix here and this is going to cover a good portion of her skin. We're just going to leave for this one uh, the deepest recesses still in that base color. So, ooh, you want to make sure you don't get her hair. So now we got to get this off of there which is fun um, so I'll just I'll come by and and add highlight make sure get highlight that portion of her hair when we hit that step but I just want to come in and hit a good portion of her her skin and start the highlighting process. So this is going to be the first highlight color. So I'm going to highlight with this color and then I'm going to show you what looks what the next step looks like as we add some more highlights to her face. So let me get this base color down and then I'll be right back. So there we have the start of her face. And now I'm taking that previous mix that I had and adding elf skin tone to it. And I want to start highlighting less and less. So now I'm going to just start with, you know, the bridge of her nose, um, under her eye, so her cheekbone. I want to get both of her cheekbones because it would look a little weird. Only one cheekbone is is highlighted. You might hear my dog snoring in the background. Um, so just just consider it that we have a special guest with us. He's uh, he's a pug and if you've ever met a pug they don't know how to breathe. <laughs> Get a little bit of this paint off of here. I want it to, to blend a little more into the surrounding area. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a bit loud, I would say. Getting just a little bit 
put just a few like dots on her forehead and I'm gonna rinse my brush and then feather that out and so it won't look like those dots it'll look like the front of her forehead I'm gonna get her chin and get just around her jawline feel it that's a, a pretty good area to grab right there and then she's got this line going down her neck and I'm gonna grab the jaw line on both sides here and so that'll be that highlight color so now I'm gonna come in with just the elf skin tone mixed with a little bit of white to lighten that up just a hair and now I want to be pretty picky and I want to get just the very tip of her cheekbone the front edge of her jawbone, her chin. I'm gonna grab that line on her neck there. And again, this side of her cheekbone. And just a few, I'm kind of just picking spots right at this point. Uh, but I wanna be around her eyebrow. And so that'll be Black Widow's face done. So we'll go ahead and come back and get our next area all highlighted. So there's what I feel her face will look like. Feels pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna move to highlighting the strands in her hair. And the first thing I'm gonna do for that is just go back to that Pro or Krill Burnt Red. And I want to uh, make sure I get the the highest strands first and so I'm just gonna come in, come in and start getting some of these strands especially this one that I accidentally get some some skin paint on <laughs> and I'm just picking out um, the strands that stick up the ends of her her wave as you can see in her hair uh, I'm gonna go all around and start with just that burnt red and I'm gonna add some other highlights but first I'm just grabbing this one so I'm gonna highlight around her hair and I'll get that squared away and I'll show you what I'm gonna do after that is done so now that I have some highlights done, I'm actually mixing in the Pro Acryl, Pro Acryl Bold Red. And this is about a 50-50 mix here. And I wanna, once again, come in and hit those higher strands, but just not as much as I hit before. And I'm just kinda going and picking areas that'll look good highlighted but I don't want to highlight the entire strand of her hair I want to leave you know, the previous colors showing a little bit so it doesn't just look like we're you know, blotching paint all over everything this wants to be a little bit more calculated and a little more precise but again you're you're gonna cover a good chunk of what we had covered. Let me see if I can change the lighting a little bit here. Uh, we're going to cover a big chunk of what we had colored, but not the entire thing. So I'm going to do this until I feel that I get a good look. And then I'm going to add another color. So I'm going to highlight this and then uh, show you the next step. So 
there's a good look at what her hair looks like now. And so now I've added Vallejo model color Scarlet to that previous color. And I'm once again coming in and I want to hit even less of her hair than we hit before. Just to kind of make this stand out. And since Black Widow is, you know, played by Scarlett Johansson, I kind of felt that Scarlett, uh, get it, in her hair would, would add just a little bit. So I'm being very selective with this, going much closer to the tips of her hair. Um, I don't want these highlights all over the place. I want them to be very precise and calculated and um, you know, really hit the highlights. So I don't want to put too much paint in any one area, any one strand anything along those lines. So I'm just going to come in with some highlights here and then we're going to do one more highlight on her hair and her hair is actually going to be finished. So let me finish this up here and I'll show you what her hair looks like. So now we have her hair almost done. I'm gonna come up with a kind of extreme highlight. I'm adding Vallejo model color, light yellow, to just scarlet. It's gonna be kind of orangish. Uh, so I wanna be very selective here and I wanna get, you know, just kind of the tips of her hair. Uh, any places that I want to stand out to really look like they're getting a lot of sunlight or lighting in general. Uh, this is something you want to be real selective with. There's not a lot that you, you, you don't want to go overboard here. You just want to hit a few areas uh, because it will, it can overpower that orange. And overpower what you've done. So I'm just kind of picking a few little areas that I feel would look good with some added flair and highlights and just hitting those ever so slightly so that she's got some some hair that stands out and I think we're gonna call that for her hair I think that looks good and it's not not too much okay so now her hair is all finished up so we'll get going to the next available highlight. Um, yeah, so we'll be right back. Okay, so there's her hair all highlighted up. Next thing I'm going to do is try to get the Black Widow symbols on both her belt and her her, uh, her chest plate. And so I'm just coming in with that Pro Acryl Bold Red. And I'm just trying to get the inside and we're gonna have to obviously clean this up a little bit uh, the sculpts not too good and it's even worse on her chest plate and so her chest plate just kind of looks like a, a red dot actually it didn't uh, the, the the mold needed to be a little better uh, 
So, so that's it for that. Now we're going to come in and start to highlight the belt. So now I'm going to start highlighting her belt and all the yellow areas that she's got. And for that I'm going to do a mix of English Uniform Vallejo Model Color and the Pro Acryl Golden Yellow. And I'm just going to add yellow in stages uh, until I get to a just almost a solid golden yellow and then I'm gonna come in for some extreme highlights I'm gonna add some white to that yellow and hit some of the corners and such so as of right now I'm just kind of doing the raised areas of her gauntlets here and keep those and keep that that previous mixture in the recesses so just kind of go around hit her gauntlets and I'm going to add more and more yellow until I get to just straight yellow and so I'm going to finish with that highlight first and after that highlight I'm gonna show you what my next highlights gonna be on these so I'll go ahead and get these finished and then be right back so there's her belt and her gauntlets all highlighted up and now I'm gonna come in I'm gonna add some white to that uh, that pro acryl yellow that I just used and I'm gonna be very sparing here and I want to hit some of the edges on her gauntlet. I don't want to do a, a highlight all the way down. So I just kind of want to hit some of the sides and such just to make it look reflective. Uh, give it a little bit of a, a flare to it. The, the top one I'm probably going to do more because it is the top gauntlet, it's going to get more light, obviously. Uh, but I'm just kind of going in and, and adding little highlights here and there. Just to give her gauntlets a little bit of pop. And then on her belt, each of these buckles right in the middle is going to get uh, a, a highlight. This buckle here. And just kind of go down the list of all the things that you painted. Add some highlights where you think it should be. Don't put too much with this specific blend uh, and uh, or put a lot if that's what you want and there you go so I'll finish that up and come right back so now that the yellow is all done I'm going to come in and start highlighting her suit and I'm going for that black and uh, dark sea blue uh, base color and I'm just adding white to it and different stages and uh, I'm just kind of at first starting with some of the raised areas and I'm just gonna kind of move around the suit and I'm going to do this in a couple of different stages. I'm going to add more and more um, white to that mix until I get to an area where I feel is is where I want it to be and then I'll stop adding white. Uh, again this is one of those just kind of highlight to what you prefer and get it to where you want it to be. So I'm just gonna 
highlight her up with this this color that I that I mixed up and uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like but again I'm just gonna add white in stages just to get the highlights on her suit all straight away uh, so I'm gonna get that done and I'll show you what that then looks like okay so there we have her highlights on her suit uh, again that was just that color and I just kind of added more white to it to get uh, a kind of a bluish gray color now I'm gonna highlight her holster and what I've done is gone back and made that black and cold gray base tone and I'm just gonna add cold gray to it in different layers um, or different stages sorry to start highlighting the edge of her holster and um, the belts that she has. It's just a simple process of finding some areas and um, adding some of this base color to it and that's kind of basically it. I might add some white but for right now I'm just gonna do that gray and black and uh, if I could add some white I'll let you know so I'll come up right back this is we'll actually go ahead and complete Black Widow um, I'm gonna do the base the same way that I did for Red Skull uh, but I will finish the base up show you what the rest of that looks like uh, but that's gonna be it for Black Widow um, so I'll come back with the base all done and the mini all sealed. So I'll return in a moment. And here's the final look at Black Widow all painted up with her base done and everything. Uh, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you liked what I did, uh, please comment, share, subscribe, all the normal YouTube stuff. And we'll come back again with the next Marvel Crisis Protocol painting series. Take care, guys.